Hey, what's up guys? Second Kirby here back again with some more Kirby's Mod in Minecraft. Oh yeah, so we left off. I did some stuff in the calculator mod. Now, between episodes, I did a bit of work. And uh, so, I have all the stuff in my inventory required to make a metal press, as well as working on the steel that I need to get a metal press mold for a gear. Now, it made no sense to me that I couldn't use the basic gear from Ender.io to make the, uh, the metal press mold for a gear. So I added that recipe. Now it makes sense. You should be able to use any gear for that. For, uh, why I can't use a basic gear, I don't know. It's probably, uh, it was probably a Blue Sunrise's decision, but uh, whatever. Whatever, I, I decided to change it back. So... Well, whatever, I decided to change that, so... Just, uh... Alright, let's see. Steel is all good to go. Now I just need to put these in the compactor, and the, these will be flattened into plates, and I'll be good to go. In press mode, correct? Yes, press mode. Alright. Perfect. So, uh, so I do have everything I need for the metal press. So, I... Uh, so... The reason I'm making a metal press is because I don't want to use iron every single time I want to make gear. That's pretty much that's pretty much uh, the long and short of it. Uh, long and short of it. So, hmm. where would be a good place for this? So the reason uh, the reason I'm making uh, the reason I'm making the metal press is because, uh, like I said, I want to do some more technology stuff today. So, um, one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to upgrade the uh, I wanted to upgrade the energy cell upstairs to hardened, but I need the hardened upgrade kit first. Requires a bronze gear, four invar, and two redstone. I mean, that's not that's not hard. It's just uh, I wanted to get the metal press up. So let's see, what would be the best way to do this? I don't remember how much power it draws, so I don't think a uh, I don't think a solar panel is uh, I don't think a solar panel is like worth it. They can put it right here. Yeah, I think this I think right here will do. Let's uh, get my book out. All right, this is easy. And it's a, this is an easy structure, so. Oh, that's new. I can, uh, I can, ooh, road to nowhere. Roads, oh my, oh my God, okay. Okay, so um, you guys, uh, you guys know the uh, Crash Bandicoot level road to nowhere? Yeah, I just got reminded of that. Oh my God. I really hate the roads nowhere in Crash Bandicoot. Like it, it, it gets, it's worse in the Insane Trilogy because holy crap. Uh, wait, I need I need a hammer. Uh, engineer's hammer. All right, two iron, two sticks, and a string. There we go. Hammer. Perfect. Yeah, I'm able to rotate pistons with this. Perfect. So boop and bam. Metal press. We're good to go now. Let's see how easy, let's see how easily I can get power in here. And I accidentally broke a light. Um, light. Right, it looks like I can get power in here. Perfect. So where's the center? I think it's right here. Yeah, that should work. Alrighty. Metal press is up, and let's get uh, let's get some upgrade kits. So bronze gears. I have bron I do have bronze up here, luckily. So so I heard I heard that I can drop these on the conveyor belt. To yes, perfect. Ooh, nice a little sound effect. That's pretty cool. All right, so I got uh, so I got my bronze gear. Need two redstone. Gonna need to get more redstone soon, and I'm also gonna need a couple pieces of invar. Luckily, I have uh, luckily I have quite a bit of ferrous metal. So I thought that was my smelting spell. <laughs> I thought I thought I had my smelting spell equipped, but uh, I guess I didn't. Whoops. There we go. Hardened upgrade kit. Perfect. Bam. Now I have a hardened energy cell, which can do 4,000 RF per tick and hold 8 million RF. And also, and also, um, I mean, 
I mean, that's pretty much okay. So it can transfer 4,000 RF a tick. It holds 8 million RF, and uh, it's basically a, and it's basically a better energy cell. I might want to upgrade these flux ducts so that way they can uh, that way they can support the power uh, power load. But um, I mean, well, um, I mean, I, I mean, this is this is a good start. So let's see, what's the next one? Uh, let's see, reinforce. Uh, so we got uh, fuse quartz or any block glass hardened in the in the uh, in the order dictionary for electrum and the silver gear. Nice. I mean, I have three Electrum here, but uh, I'm gonna need more. So silver gear, huh? So that's, I mean, I mean, I could have bumped this up all the way. It's just, um, let's see, uh, reinforce, yeah. Okay, signalum needs cryothium dust and Electrum gear and four signalum. Resonant needs aluminum gear, four endurium and two pyrothium. Blaze, you know, blaze powder, redstone, sulfur, and some kind of pulverized coals. Let's see, then cryothium needs blizz powder, redstone, niter, and snowballs. Well, all right then. I mean, an upgraded energy cell is a good, and that's a good start, so. Hmm. Maybe I can, uh, ooh, here's something. How about, um, how about the purification chamber from a uh, mechanism? Uh, enrichment chamber, two osmium, four enriched alloy, and two advanced control circuits, which are enriched alloy around a basic control circuit. All right, that, uh, that doesn't sound too hard. Already, guys, the purification chamber has been created perfect. So uh, now that I have uh, this, I can uh, get started on some. Uh, I can get, get started on some triple ore processing. So I'm just gonna configure the sides here. Perfect. So this, so this block requires some, uh, so this block requires oxygen, I, I believe. Yes, oxygen. It, it requires oxygen as well. All right, so it requires oxygen as well as uh, an ore or a shard if you're doing quadruple, which requires a chemical injection chamber with hydrogen chloride, which is kind of, uh, hydrogen chloride is weird, so. Purification chamber is really easy to uh, purification chamber is really easy to get uh, really easy to get oxygen for. You just need an electrolytic separator with uh, with a constant supply of water. So electrolytic separator. Um, so it requires two enriched alloy, four iron, two redstone, and an electrolytic core, which is five enriched alloy, two uh, one gold dust, one iron dust, and two osmium dust. Well, that's going to be, um, let's see, how much, how much enriched alloy do I need? One, two, seven. So one piece, one piece of redstone in the, enrich in the enrichment chamber should be enough for this. Hopefully. I'm hoping this will be enough. Alrighty guys, the electrolytic separator has been completed. So now that I have this, I can automatically get, I can automatically get oxygen into the purification chamber so no more using flint that is amazing no more using flint oh man love that so let's see what am i so how am i going to set this up in the past i've in the past i've set up like a uh, like a big room in the uh, like behind my mechanism room which i would rarely go in to uh it's like get all the stuff needed for uh quintuple ore processing set up. So it's it's really con it's really convoluted. But uh, it's really convoluted, but triple uh, triple ore processing all you really need is the electrolytic separator. Oh, I almost forgot. I need some uh, I need some pressurized I need some uh, pressurized tubes. I need some pressurized tubes of uh, I need some pressurized tubes of some kind. So steel and glass. Hmm. There's also the there's also the Ender IO gas conduits. Um, I think. Nope. Ender IO took out the gas conduits. I guess uh, I guess we're going with the uh, I guess we're going with the pressure tube. Um, I'm guessing we're going with the pressurized tube. So pressurized tube. So let's see. 
Yeah, two steel and a glass, and then to upgrade it needs eight of these around an enriched alloy, then to upgrade that, eight of these around a reinforced alloy, then upgrade it again, eight of these around an atomic alloy. Hmm. Well, I mean, I mean, wait, do I need that hydrogen for anything? I'm trying to remember how the quintuple ore processing works. So, um, electrolytic separator. Can take a look at some recipes. Here we go. So, brine splits into sodium and chlorine. I do need brine, so chlorine. Um, wait. Recipe? Yeah, the right the the salination plants. The salination plant. That's actually really convenient. That's actually really convenient. I made I made my base. I made my base in a desert, not even thinking about this. This is amazing. The rotary condense. Oh right, I forgot the forgot about the rotary condensator. Hmm. Okay. Um. If only I could check it with gases. But uh, hmm. How am I gonna do this? So, I mean, one side, uh, one side of the machine pumps out oxygen, one side pumps out hydrogen. So I need to use that, I need to put that hydrogen somewhere. The hydrogen is used for something, I think, isn't it? Um, wait, the chemical injection chamber. Yeah, the chemical injection chamber needs hydrogen chloride. Yeah, so I do need that hydrogen for something. So I might want to say I might want to save the uh, might want to save the hydrogen as well. So gas tanks. So basic gas tank needs four osmium, four redstone. How much redstone do I have? Exactly four. Well then, that's a thing. I mean. I mean, I also need to. I also need to figure out like where I'm gonna place this. So, I mean, I guess back here. I guess back here will do. Luckily, there's uh, luckily there's sandstone up here. So, unfortunately, there's a bunch of sand back here. So, maybe right here. What do you think? I need to get power to this thing somehow, and uh, I also need to get water to this thing. So. Let's see. What would be the best way to get water to it? I think the reservoir might be the best might be the best choice. Reservoir. So that needs it needs eight uh it needs eight fuse quartz. Wait, okay, so fuse quartz and hardened glass with a cauldron. Alright, so I mean I mean that's not terrible. That's not a terrible recipe, it's just, um, let's see. Drum? What kinds of drums do we have? So let's see, we got the stone drum? Huh, that's new. I, never, I haven't seen that one before. Uh, iron drum? That's, okay, let's see. Reinforced large drum needs six diamonds, a two, -weighted pressure plate, uh, two light weighted pressure plates and an iron drum. Demonically gargantuan drum. Needs dem demon ingots, Klein bottles, and a reinforced large drum. What, what is a climb bottle? 200 pearls and a glass bottle. Climb bottle. That's weird. Hold on, I've heard of... Uh, there's there's this item in Extra Utilities called a Klein flask, right? I guess not. I guess it's the climb bottle. Hmm. Whatever. And the reason I'm asking about the climb flask is because that's uh, that's a common common item in age of engineering for a uh, for wireless items like the ender chest ender tank um let's see yeah the rf tools power cell as well uh, hold on the power uh, the rf tools power cell um infuse diamonds two blocks of uh, four blocks of redstone and a power cell uh creative power cell simple power cell needs okay the regular power cell needs prismarine. Hmm. 
The Power Cell Link card is a really good. Uh, the Power Cell Link card is a really good item because you can you can use this to you can use this as like energy transfer across dimensions. So, I mean, the dimensional transceiver requires power to send power, which kind of doesn't make sense. And uh, and tesseracts don't exist in this pack. See, just even trying to search tesseract brings nothing up. All right, I'm gonna need to get some of this garbage out of my inventory. Holy crap, this. Yeah, I am really gonna need to start on uh, on uh, refined storage sometime. So yeah, um, I guess the I guess first thing I need to do is the I guess the first thing I need to do is reservoir. So if I need eight heart and glass, uh, yeah, eight heart and glass, then like half a stack of quartz would half a stack of quartz would do me well. So. And this thing can do three processes of hard uh, of fuse quartz at a time, so that'll be no problem. What will be a problem though? Oh wait, um, can I can I like uh wait energy conduit? Of course, <laughs> I mean, of course, draconic. Uh, of course, draconic shows it uh, shows its things right now. It's not like I can make it. Uh, yeah, I need I need fusion crafting for that, which requires draconic cores, which I can't get because I don't have draconium ingots. Well then, yeah. So basically, I need draconium before I can do before I can do the uh, draconic power transfer, which uh, which arguably it, it is like uh, the draconic power transfer is like so good. I love the draconic power transfer. Wait, I can do, I can do the, I can just, I can just like, I can just like put water in here temporarily, right? I can, nice. This is a, this has a large internal buffer. Um, so let's uh, dump excess, uh, no. No, this is the wrong way, oh my God. It probably loses its water. Oh no, it doesn't. Nice. So I'm gonna need a yeah. I'm gonna need that reservoir. How's this coming? Almost done. Um. Okay. So I'm also gonna need. I'm also gonna need some. Uh, I'm also gonna need some steel. So you know some. Uh, yeah. Actually, some more flint in here would be really good right now. So. Yeah, so I need two steel, which uh, shouldn't be an issue. Just put this in the enrichment chamber. That's the crusher. Give me this last man. Alrighty, let's see. Huh? How much? How much oxygen does this use per uh, per ore processed? Okay, it uses a majority of it. So, uh, so I'm gonna need to get the steel in here. Like uh, right now, and then these. Uh... Okay, hold on. Oh wait, right. I was gonna I was gonna search energy conduits, but I don't think I need energy conduits right now. I just um... flux ducts. I mean, oh right. I don't have redstone. I guess I can just borrow. I can just borrow this. Um, metal press isn't using it. Metal press isn't using this. Might as well, uh, might as well just like take these, put them in here. Oh right. Uh, let's see. Offhand. Let's see. Light. That's better. All right. There we go. All right. This has a bit of power. It's producing hydrogen and oxygen. Uh, Need to dump excess of that. Alrighty, then I'm gonna need the uh, then I'm gonna need some steel. So, well, uh, oh, you're gonna be kidding me! Not wasting any redstone. Uh, just make another control circuit because I'm pretty sure I'll need these eventually. So. 
All right, so I'll be able to put this in here as soon. Yep, there we go. Basic control circuit, good to go. And let's make some steel. This will take a bit of time, but uh, let's see. Okay, so there, hmm. Alrighty, so well, maybe I should get, let's get a, wait, did I get enough? Uh... Oh, right. Uh... Right, there's this that's stuck in here. So I can't really make a cauldron until I'm done. I'm gonna need a piece of glass. Perfect. All right, this is gonna be a bit manual until I can get until I can get some. Uh, it's gonna be a bit manual until I can get some fluid transfer and uh, let's see. Um, do this. All right, this should be it, right? Yeah, pressurized tubes. Perfect. Alrighty, and this is transferring oxygen, so perfect. And we do, nope, that's not, here we go. Perfect, now this, ha now this has some oxygen in it, and this will continue to transfer oxygen until it runs out. Which hopefully shouldn't be for a bit, because this, ha this has an internal buffer of oxygen, so. I mean, I have basic, uh, I have basic triple war processing up. So now I just need to wait for this to finish processing the uh, the iron, so that way I can make more. Uh, that way I can make a cauldron for a reservoir. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys, reservoir has been created. Now let's get a couple buckets of water, so that way I can, uh, so I can fill this up and uh, get like, get it up and running. So let's see. Offhand, I'm gonna need light. Here we go. Let's do it right here. Because I figure why not. And now we do this. With this. And now we have infinite water. Alrighty. Now that we got that, uh, I need some kind of fluid transfer. So what's the best kind of fluid transfer? Um, fluid. Here we go. Got some pressurized fluid conduits. Wait, uh, always active. There we go. We should be, uh, hmm. Is this working or? I mean, it looks like it's working. Hmm. That's weird. Well, it looks like it is working, so. Are you dumping excess? Wait, that's excess? The heck? Huh. That's weird. Eh, whatever. There's a there's a backup uh, there's a backup of oxygen, so that works. I set out what I I got I got what I needed to get done today. So yeah, I think I think that's a good and I think that's a good stopping off point for the for this episode. Alrighty, guys. That'll be it for this episode of Kirby's Modern Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed getting some triple ore processing up and running and upgrading my energy cell. Stay tuned next time for starting Batania because I actually kind of actually kind of want to get the uh, the magnet ring and the Sojourner sash from Batania. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.